what's going on guys welcome back to this video today we will be doing over the wire ctf games and we're going to be doing level 19 so we move up from level 19 into level 20. okay so we visit the url and we see a login form the title says this page uses mostly the same code as the previous level but session ids are no longer sequential so basically if you go to the previous level, if you remember the previous level, we were brute forcing session IDs. So session IDs were predictable and assigned a numerical value in the code. That's not good from a security perspective because you can brute force uh, the security ID or the session ID and basically find out what is the session ID associated with the admin account. That is what we did in the previous video. But now this is no longer the case because it says session IDs are no longer sequential. Additionally, we are not given the source code, meaning this is a black box testing. Please log in with your admin account to retrieve credentials for Natus 20. So if we log in now with anything to test the response of the web application, so test two, test two. And the page says you're logged in as a regular user. Log in as an admin to retrieve credentials for Natus 20. So since we are testing session IDs, we want to take a look now at the session ID of the user we use to log in. That is test two. So we right click and we go to inspect now from here we go to application and we highlight the cookies and we take a note of the session ID this is the session ID now if we copy that okay and go to cyberchef so in cyberchef here from hex now we convert the value from hexadecimal to ASCII text now why hex because it's very clear guys that the uh, form of the session ID is hex it's all numbers numbers and letters D7 so it's not decimal it's not binary it is hexadecimal so we convert this from hexadecimal into the corresponding ASCII text. As you can see, the result is 380 test 2. So the user we have used is part of the session ID. To understand this more, we need to go back and log in with a different user and see how the session ID will be will differ. So we delete the session cookie from here we go back to the main page and we type this time test 5 test 5 login again we go to inspect we inspect the cookies we click the session ID we go to cyber chef we paste the session ID and indeed this is the session new session id so see guys the username we use is always added as part of the cookie before the hex encoding this time and this time test 2 and test 5 and there is a number between before the username all right that's good if you go back, delete the cookie, this time we're going to try to log in with an admin account. So admin1, password is admin1, and now 
we want to take a look at the cookie copy the cookie so that's the new uh, cookie guys so again it includes the username admin1 and before the username there is um, a number okay let's now try with another admin user so we delete the last cookie admin 6 this time take a look again at the cookies and again as you can see admin 6 is part of the cookie or the session id and before the username there is the number <coughs> now you see there is a pattern so when we first we're logging in with regular users as you can see the cookies they seem to have common parts starting with the 2d 2d 7 4 6 5 7 3 7 5 this is the common part for the uh, users or regular users if we go to the admin users and highlight the common parts in their session ids we can start from Here. so what do we need to do we need to assume that we want to get access to the, to the user admin only admin okay To be able to do that, we need to find out where is the admin portion in hexadecimal. So it seems to me that this is the admin portion in hexadecimal. To confirm the suspicion, as you can see, the admin part. So we need to keep this admin part constant in our fuzzing. And we need to find out the correct number. So basically, we're going to iterate through like numbers from 0 till 640. Okay, because 640 was the maximum number used to generate the session IDs. Um, if you remember from the last challenge, so from 0 to 640, these numbers are generated according to that range from 0 to 640. So we want to go through these numbers. Okay, from 0 to 640 and try them out with the admin and see which, which one uh, grant us access. So basically we're doing brute force and fuzzing at the same time. Let's see that how this looks in a Python script. So this is the script. All right. OK, so the first thing we do, we define the target. This is the URL. We're going to navigate to. And these are the credentials. And we're going to simulate basic authentication using the HTTP protocol with the credentials from the previous level. All right. Next, we define the parameters that control the uh, PHP session ID. They are the maximum and the lowest and highest number. The lowest number is 1 and the highest number is 640 again according to the previous challenge. So between these two numbers we will be generating the session IDs. So then we go through a while loop here. So in the while loop we want to try every possible session ID. Okay. The session ID is composed of two bits. The first bit is the number 
in the range between 0 and 640 and the username itself we want to test these numbers but we want to keep the username constant which happens to be admin to do that so this is the admin part in hex and this is how we uh, convert the number between 1 and 640 into hex so as you can see we take it from the while loop from here so first the first number will be 1 and then we increase them by 1 every time we go through the loop and we convert that into hex at the end the session ID comes as is hex the hex format okay plus the admin part this is the hex format and this is the admin part we add them together to get this formula the number and the username and then we test this in a basic request through the headers and the response variables okay next we run the script now this will or the, sp the script will print every possible session ID that this that is generated during the process okay now all of these session IDs are being uh, tried and attempted in a live fashion against the web application so that was the session ID that generated the correct response that we wanted so let's take a look copy that and we go to the browser basically we're going to delete all of this so it is 281 admin that's the correct number okay uh, that generated the cookie which rendered the uh, this output so if you go down we can see this response you are an admin the credentials for the next level are nat as 20 and this is the password so effectively this concludes the current level and we can now attempt to log into the next level by changing the 19 in the URL into 20 okay so let's try the password and now we are in the level 20 we will do this in the upcoming videos guys for now i conclude this video and i want to thank you for watching i will see you later